Hey, Ben Murray here, and in this quick video, I'm gonna show you a special brand new lead generation software that's been in development for many months and is now helping to grow my own list significantly. It's called LeadLock, and it's the first software to be able to create what I call value-first opt-ins and lead magnet forms that in various tests have beaten the standard squeeze page, two-step opt-ins, and pop-up forms that everyone and their grandma uses. So how does it work? Well, instead of being like everyone else online and immediately asking for your visitor's information in exchange for your lead magnet, like you see regular pop-ups or those two-step opt-in forms really do, LeadLock allows you to strategically give away parts of your lead magnet for free upfront, giving away value and building trust. Then capture a visitor's email with opt-in lockers, locking specific pages of your PDF or lead magnet as they go through it. So number one, people engage with your lead magnet in their browser or phone with no opt-in required allowing you to stand out from the sea of pop-ups and squeeze pages. Number two, then LeadLock locks specific pages of your lead magnet by displaying a fully customizable message to collect people's email addresses to unlock that part of your report and prevent them from downloading the PDF to their desktop or phone or simply leaving the browser page. And you can take that a whole lot further by adding in Facebook retargeting codes, extra viral lockers to drive traffic, and way more. But first, does this really work or is this just another tool out there thrown out to be launched? Well, in various tests I've done, my lead lock opt-in forms like this one have outperformed regular squeeze pages just like this when pay-per-click traffic is sent to them. Like you can see in this A-B test I ran where the lead lock outperformed the original squeeze page and increased opt-ins by 263%. I also ran another test where I gave away part of the lead magnet on my site and asked users to opt-in at the bottom to get the rest versus the same lead locked opt-in form. And despite eliminating the distractions like comments and the sidebar links, the lead lock form still outconverted because even if your readers find value, many will still not subscribe because of the thought of having to stop what they're doing and check their email for the rest. It's unlike lead lock that simply reveals what's under it and it's a much more elegant solution. And LeadLock is built to solve the big problem happening now in which sometimes 40 or 50% of your prospects who opted into your list never actually go through your lead magnet or training and therefore remain cold prospects that don't really convert well when you try to send offers to them. Plus, as you can imagine by now, LeadLock isn't just for driving Facebook traffic to, but can be used in place of pop-ups or exit pops like this, where I took a regular low converting exit pop-up asking for the user's email that really wasn't working and got far more opt-ins and interactions by linking it to a lead lock magnet and letting visitors know that they could get access to the content first for free. Or share it on social media like this to quickly get subscribers since lead lock comes with social media title and metadata optimization. That's just the start. So let me quickly walk you through some of the amazing features and let you see just how easy it is to set up and quickly accelerate your list growth. Okay, so now I'm in the lead lock dashboard and this is a cloud software and all you have to do to get started is click this create a new campaign button. And first what we wanna do is give our campaign a title and a description and this is what's gonna be shown on social media if we choose to share it there. We can also choose to add a social share image and this is what's gonna be seen say on Facebook, for example, if we share it. Now, what we can also do is choose the campaign style. So we can have a scroll or slide, whether we want our visitors to scroll through our lead magnet, for example, or our PDF. Now, what we want to do also is we want to upload a document. And this is basically the uh, lead magnet. So this can be like a PDF, uh, an image. It can be just about any document because um, LeadLock can support just about any document type out there. So I'll just choose a PDF for this. And then we can choose uh, for our subscribers to either have to uh, opt in where we block them from being able to download the PDF on their phone or their uh, desktop computer, or we can allow them and just hit force capture as well to uh, prevent them from downloading that. Now we can also add our own branding options as well. Right now the lead lock one is on, but if we want, uh, we can add our own logo as well which is very important. And we can also integrate different scripts and codes. Uh, for example, we can add our Facebook retargeting code here. We can add, say, a script from Visual Website Optimizer for doing some split testing. And then we would just hit next to go to the actual locking part of the software. All right, so if we wanted to add the different lockers, what we wanna do is just click add locker here. Then we can choose what page we want it to come up on. So say we want it to come up on the second page. 
and then we would choose the different type. Now, what you've seen in the scene so far is the autoresponder uh, integration locker where it's asking for their email, but we have a lot more different types of lockers. For example, there's this go viral, very cool locker here where um, it's asking uh, people to enter e emails of their friends to refer this PDF to. So what you can do is actually lead lock allows you to do different lockers on uh, various pages. So you can have say an opt-in form on page number two, and then have the go viral on page uh, number four at the end, maybe to not only capture the email address, but then also get them to refer it to other people. And we have things like a video, a webinar registration, and a lot more. So for this example, I'm just going to choose the basic autoresponder. Now what we can do is we can integrate with these autoresponders here. And there's also, there's being a lot more added. Um, and also, if you don't see your autoresponder, you can just click other, and then you can be able to download all the leads right from LeadLock as well. Now, when designing this opt-in form, we have a lot of flexible options. We can choose to integrate it with Facebook, uh, Gmail, Google+. You can let the user just skip it if you know that's our goal. Uh, we can choose to not ask for a name. We can customize the header text, um, choose you know different fonts, for example. Choose the privacy, choose the button. And also another cool thing is uh, along with the color, we can choose to make it see through or not. Uh, so this kind of is kind of cool if, you know, they can see the information that they want to get right below them. And all you have to do is enter their email. It's kind of like a psychological type trigger there. And then we just hit save to save our lead lock. And then if we wanted to add more, we could add more lockers like I was talking about. And then we just hit next. And then now we can preview what our uh, lead magnet is going to look like. Uh, so here we have our first page and then the second page is where the pop-up is going to come up uh, and ask for them to enter to continue to get the content and information. And we can do this by sharing on social networks. We can share it by simply embedding in our blog, for example. Um, and we have the regular uh, just URL that we can share as well. And we can also install on a Facebook tab too. It's another option that you can use to share it. And then LeadLock comes with a bunch of other features. For example, we can go to manage campaigns here, see some different campaigns we have up, and then actually go see um, analytics. Uh, we can export the leads. So we'll just click on uh, analytics here. And we can see, uh, for example, a lot of different analytics to see, to see how our actual campaigns are doing. So if you think about it, uh, value first is really the next step in list building. And there's just too much saturation now and copycats out there online. It's all about establishing yourself as an actual brand that could provide value and stand out and win. Now, lead log might not replace every single squeeze page or opt-in form, and that's not really the point of it. But I think you can see how valuable this tool is going to be going forward and how many instances you can use it to significantly increase your list.